Welcome back to the Google Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Agustin Jimenez, and today we're going to look at what is a cash family, physical product, a representation, and when you used it. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ever wonder what terms like CAD family, physical product, and representation actually mean in SOLIDWORKS and 3D experience? Today, we'll break them down, show you how they work together to save you time, and keep your designs organized. Let's start with CAD families. Think of a CAD family as a master group that manages all variations of a design. A CAD family can be either a part or an assembly file. For example, a set of open end wrenches. You have quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch. Different sizes, but they share the same overall design. In standard SOLIDWORKS terms without 3D experience, this would translate to using configurations. In 3D experience, the CAD family keeps everything organized so you don't treat each version as a totally separate file. What's the big benefit? You manage the design intent once, but support as many variations as you need. Now, what about physical products? A physical product represents the real world item you're going to build, buy, or sell. A physical product isn't just a half inch wrench. It's the actual catalog item with a part number, material, finish, supplier, even manufacturing details. It bridges the gap between your CAD design and your company's business processes. Finally, we have representations. These are alternate states of a physical product. For example, you might need a simplified version of the wrench without post-manufacturing features or details like fillets. Representations don't create a brand new part number. They simply show the same physical product in a different way. In the properties of a representation, you will see links to the physical product properties. Inside SOLIDWORKS, the CAD family tab is where you can create and manage all of this. To turn it on, you go to system options, 3D experience integration. Make sure you do not have any files open or else this option will be grayed out. Choose the option that best fits your needs, either a single physical product with the ability to create representations or multiple physical products. Don't worry, you can switch between the two, which I'll show you in a moment. Start a new part. Save the part, add new physical products as needed, and create representations for alternate states. From here, you can right-click and delete physical products and representations as desired. If you do not need a CAD family, you can right-click and delete the CAD family. This will then only allow you to create representations. And in the same fashion, you can create a CAD family. From there, you can activate, rename, or delete products and representations as your project evolves. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, blueengineer.com, for access to our personal training, upcoming events, and more from the number one online technical resource. Bye for now.